is up guys it's Naomi and I am back with another video so as you can see my braids are starting to get frizzy I'm starting to get new growth like it might not be horrible but I can tell it's starting to come in and it's just starting to look a little a little rough so at that moment where you start seeing that frizziness and that new growth is when you need to start get into the moisture, get into the water, get into the oils. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing in this video today. Just refreshing my braids and my edges and all that. All that, all that, all that. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so um, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start in the front and uh, work my way to the back. And then I'll do my edges at the end. Oh, I should probably take these cuffs out. I'm gonna start off by just sectioning the front like this and then pulling the rest back. Okay, so what I'm gonna be using is, so I got my spray bottle. I have Dark and Lovely Moisture Lock Leave-In Spray. It's basically just a moisturizer for dehydrated hair. Um, if you have a regular leave-in conditioner or any type of moisture that you wanna add to your water bottle and just spray it in together, you can also do that. But I'm gonna do, two steps and then I have my Carol's Daughter Healthy Hair Butter and this is just an additional moisturizer that I'm gonna put in my hair I'm not gonna put too much of it though because it is thick like the consistency is like really thick like you can tell just by how it does not come off your fingers like <laughs> and then afterwards to basically seal it all in I'm gonna use my extra virgin olive oil because uh, extra virgin and pure is the best. I wanted a lighter type of oil because black castor oil, that thing is so heavy and I'm not trying to have too much buildup on my hair. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with olive oil. And then at the end, I'm just gonna do my edges with this Eco Styler gel. I'm going to moisten my hair. I'm just gonna spray enough to just kind of refresh it. You guys are probably thinking that my hair isn't even that bad right now, but honestly, like truly, like really, it looks bad. Like, that's my pet peeve. I hate when hairstyles get old and it's just like, baby, girl, what you doing? What you doing? Let it go. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take this spray bottle filled of moisture and I'm just gonna spray it on. And you guys, during this whole thing, I'm really just focusing on the roots and the top of the braid. I'm gonna put some moisture on the ends, but not like a lot, like how I'm putting it on the roots because this is where my natural hair is and that's what I care about the most. Okay, so after you moisturize the actual top of the braid, what you're gonna do is go into the roots and that's where I'm gonna take my Carol's Daughter Healthy Hair Butter and I'm just going to put a little bit and rub a little bit on the root. Like that. And then a little bit on the beginning of the braid. Cause I also have hair there. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of twist it. Wrap it around. You're basically just gonna keep doing that all throughout.
So what I did in the front is basically just what I'm gonna do all the way throughout my hair. So now I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and I'll be back to show you guys what I do after that. Okay, so I'm back and I did the rest of my braids. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and go in with my oil. I don't want too much oil, but I do want enough to lock and seal that moisture in. I'm kind of gonna use it as a transition from where I stopped putting the moisture in all the way down to the end of my braids. And yes, you guys, I am using a spoolie for my edges. This is the ultimate finesse. I got this idea from a YouTuber named Eris. So shout out to her, I'm gonna link her channel because it has been laid, okay? All right, you guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos of mine. Make sure you guys click that little bell also so you're notified when I upload my videos. Definitely keep on liking and commenting, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video.